What is up? In this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install, quote unquote, uh, the different parts uh, and models from the database. So you're going to pick something from here that you want to download. I would definitely suggest getting this. It's very important. Uh, but say we want to get this kitchen set here. So when you are a subscriber or a member or whatever, um, uh, you purchase the annual subscription, you will be allowed to download this, quote unquote, for free. So you're just able to come in here and download whatever you want. Uh, you download this and you get a zip file. So for the refrigerator, um, they are going to all come separately. That's how I've designed this. You will get something like this. Um, it comes with the Mac OS files, so maybe I should get rid of those. Um, uh, unzip this, take it out. And this is a little bit messy, and I'll show you why this kind of doesn't matter. Uh, you're going to open the file, so don't import it. Actually open it. Okay, don't, don't change anything, but you're going to open it. And you're going to want to go to the content browser here. So this is what's kind of new about uh, the workflow compared to Cine Designer. Um, you're going to want to use this thing. Is it intimidating? I don't remember. I can't tell, but, um, uh, if you've never used it before, we're going to be concentrating on the presets here, right? And so I already have this kind of set up. It's not finished on my new computer here. This is a brand new PC. I'm still filling this out, but I have my characters here, which I can do another video on how to set characters up. I've done, I do it a tiny bit differently now. Um, but we have, uh, I have the set designer bathroom stuff electronics, which I'm going to eventually add more, like iPads and laptops. Um, some furniture here, my little Ikea shopping uh, trip here. Uh, the kitchen, materials, which I still have to add, and I'll make another video about materials. And set designer are the parametric objects. Um, so how do, you, how do you set this up when you're first starting? Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to go to File and New Preset Library and name it whatever you want. I really want you guys to organize it how you want so it makes sense to you so you remember how to use it and you keep using it. So I'm gonna just say SD, um, oh, what's going on here? SD, is my caps lock on? Oh, okay, that's why. SD uh, test. So that makes a new folder or preset library, right? And because we have already opened this uh, object, what we're gonna wanna do is just grab it and just drag it into here. And that is it. That's how you install it. So you're gonna open up every single object and then just drag and drop it from here into your content browser. And it will take a little bit of time, but it's, I, I find it kind of satisfying. And, and having it be organized um, in a way that makes sense to you is gonna allow you to find them faster versus me giving you the structure. I would say just do whatever you want. Um, one of the things that's cool about this now is that I can do this. I can go here and I can just throw it away because this is now not referencing that file. This has it in its own place internally on the hard drive, which I can show you later if anyone is interested. But essentially you have now your own local copy that it's managing. And best of all, if there were materials involved with this file, which there aren't any really, um, uh, it would keep those materials in a folder for you as well. So this is a really great way of managing uh, a lot of things and you can organize it however you want and you can reorganize this as you need to. So that's how you install it. And is there anything else I should show here? I can't remember. I guess I'll show you a really quick build on how this might work. Uh, again, my database isn't completely filled yet, but uh, let's do a really, really quick demo here. This is not an official demo of how to use set designer, but it is a, it will be a quick one anyway. So let's create a really simple um, three wall room. I'm gonna go back to this and I'm gonna just get rid of um, that. And I'm gonna open this up grab just the window again the, this win this wall object here I, I like it it's the it's like better than the one that came with the alpha of uh, set designer but I, I I already have a lot of changes I need to make to this thing but anyway so we have an SD wall and my recommendation for you is to uh, either bring in a new wall an entirely new one like double click this again or if you know for instance that, that this is going to be exactly the same uh, don't actually uh, hold control and go like that. That's the Cinema 4D, uh, Cinema 4D way. Don't do that. That actually will break how this is designed. We want to use an instance. And then I'm just going to spin this 90. Uh, move it over here. And now that it's an instance, if you look up here, it's just a copy of it. Turn it off and on. Now this is safe to just control like that. Okay. And there are interior walls and exterior walls on this build. And I don't have a fast way of changing that. So that's not my favorite. But uh, really quick. Uh, three wall set here uh, like this and probably change this one a little bit to be like here not perfect uh, I'll do a video on how to make things snap perfectly just to, to, to size and to points etc but 
most of the time it doesn't really matter as long as you get it kind of kind of correct uh you put a floor in like that just if you don't know that's a just a plain object it works really well for floors uh you can just change its size here pretty easy i will probably make a floor object um and ceiling object eventually but this is how we started up uh really ugly set so so far uh we're not gonna light it uh not the point of this demo and then you're just gonna start filling it with your things um i don't know let's grab some furniture here i'll grab this coffee table um as of launch, I don't have any sofas in it. I have the model, I just haven't added them in, but we're gonna have sofas. We're gonna have hopefully basic, all the basics of kind of like a modern uh, residential house. So we, we brought that in. Maybe we wanna put a plant on it. Bring that here, move it up. I should probably use snapping, but I'm being lazy and fast. But this is how fast it is to just start kind of prototyping a room, a uh, very ugly room. <laughs> and let's see, let's bring this um, like here, okay? Really ugly set, but it's it's just to show the kind of workflow here. Uh, I would have more materials eventually. I'll put that there. Yeah, it took a second. And I'm just going to add um, one of my characters in here. Let him load up there. And that character is, again, not part of set designer. He's an, an Adobe Mixamo Fuse character, which I have videos on how to set him up uh, and use them for previs. So there we go. There's our basic set. Uh, his eye shader is a little bit wrong, so I need to fix that on my model. Um, but that's how we would uh, set this up here. If I was to drop a Cine Designer light in this, it would render very nicely. Uh, this, you actually want to change the projection to cubic. Pretty cool. cool. And for people that don't have Cine Designer and are just using Set Designer, which I know um, there's going to be a good amount of that, uh, just use like a PBR light if you're using the R19 version or just use whatever lights you're used to lighting with, uh, especially if you're not a Cine Designer user use whatever you want um so let's go change some settings here it's still gonna use photometric and candela which is fine and I'll, i feel like i feel like i should make a video explaining what these mean um because it took me a while to figure that out it, it's kind of not the most intuitive thing in the world um if you don't like study uh lighting physics etc so i'll do a really quick video not a quick video a quick setup for this uh, this, I will be making a bunch of presets so that you guys don't ever actually ever have to touch this. You'll just have to choose the preset. But for now, this looks reasonable. And let's set off a render and see how this looks overall. Should be pretty good. So it's light mapping, really quick, Iridian's cache. And then here we are with pretty low samples and almost no work, literally. Because all, all we did was bring in a couple objects and drop a texture on it and render it with a light on. And it's looking pretty photoreal already. Adding better materials and spending a little bit more time on the lighting, etc. This would look great. Put lights out the window, etc. Um, that is how you install in a quick little demo on how to use the set designer assets in Cinema 4D. If you have any questions about this, uh, go check out our forum, which I will link to in the description below. Or leave comments on this video. I will do my best to get back to you. Uh, there. So thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.